Hello and welcome back to another quick uh, video about a very interesting EOS project in the space. This time it is Predict IQ. Predict IQ, if you don't know, is a prediction market that's created by the same team behind Everpedia. They call it the Everpedia's knowledge market. So I think there's some tie-in. Uh, I'm not entirely sure yet, but I think it is an interesting project all on its own. So here you can see the front page of the Predict IQ website. You can see all the different uh, cards that represents a different market uh, that has been created so you can see something about finance about whether we will have an ipo probably not uh, sports politics uh, and of course the ever popular cryptocurrency again uh, tons of different markets for you to uh, take a look at and you can see some of them most of them don't have any volume at the moment but again the this is kind of the second beta release of the product so i'm assuming it will be more popular in the future and as the tie-in into everpedia uh, gets closer and closer integrated with the website so but that is not the main point of this video in this video i'm going to show you how to create your very own prediction market on the everpedia website uh, so if you're a project like pixos and you want to add a secondary gamification to the project Right now, Pixel S allows you to bid on different artworks, but maybe you create a secondary market where you could create a prediction market on specific piece of artwork and whether or not they be sold before a certain day or how much they be sold for. So I think there's a lot of potential for kind of um, different ideas to blossom, uh, different connections with different uh, applications, even for games. If someone would beat a high score, that could be a prediction market. Um, so yeah, I think a lot of there's a lot of potential in this idea of the prediction markets. So I'm gonna run you through the steps of how to create your own market uh, on Everpedia using their front end. So you will just scroll over to the markets tab, you will just scroll down and you hit create. So here you can see some information that will guide you through the process of creating a market. So let's get started. Next. So you can select your primary currency for the market. You can choose either between EOS or IQ, but it looks like currently there is no option for you to choose EOS. So I don't know what the deal with that is. So for me, I'll provide a title. The title is, Will Sam be on the Up For The Session podcast before May 15? I'll put in some description for the market. I wanna you know, kind of give the details for the uh, participants in the market. So will Sam appear or as a guest on the widely popular number one rated up for discussion podcast before May 15th? And obviously you can upload image, which I already did. And you will have to provide the kind of situations for the market to be resolved on. So here I have a playlist that's linking to the YouTube, uh, the up for discussion podcast YouTube playlist. Great playlist, by the way. So I, I stay here. If there's a video in this playlist, in this YouTube playlist, that has Sam as a guest on the show before the date prescribed, and I set the date again to be May 15. And right now you can only select the two EOS accounts that's both controlled by the Predict IQ team as the resolver or the oracle uh, of the market. So they will decide uh, whether or not uh, the answer to the scenario to this market is yes or no. So they will be the kind of the ultimate uh, arbitrator of this market. So I'm gonna hit next. I have set the time to be May 15 at midnight, just before midnight, and I'm gonna select my category, which I'm gonna put EOS and add some tags, EOS, blockchain, and block one, because of course the Everpedia team is funded uh, by block one through their EOS VC program. So I'm gonna hit review, and here is the full proposal. So here you see the title, the description, and how it would be resolved or the condition for it to be resolved. So of course, I'm gonna hit propose and that should bring up a scatter transaction. Uh, this do take some IQ from you. So you do would need some IQ uh, to create this market. Well, it's not much. I think I have one EOS worth of IQ and you know that's more than enough. So I'm gonna deny that because I have already created this market and it's awaiting uh, approval. So here you can see here, if you go to the proposed tab, you will see all the markets that are pending. So again, this project is open source. You could fork the code and create your own markets but for this specific front end, uh, it does need approval from the Predict IQ team. Uh, so that's pretty much it about the uh, project. You can go check out the different markets. So, you know, a lot of sports, a lot of, you know, IQ related stuff, EOS related stuff. Um, again, not all of them have a lot of volume at the moment. It looks like this one is uh, quite active, Chainlink. 
And here you can see the market order book, which is just people you know, putting on bets. You can see trade history. Uh, again, not a whole lot of volume, but I'm sure that will change as the uh, prediction market gets more integrated with Wikipedia, which would be quite interesting uh, to say the very least. So that's it. That's the video. I just want to showcase this uh, very interesting project in the space, in the uh, EOS ecosystem. If you do have a project you want me to check out, uh, leave them in the comment down below and I'll be sure to check them out. That's it for me today and make sure you check back for more videos and updates uh, later. So I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.